Hello, Stu here from DIYmusic.co.uk with FL Studio Quick Tips number two, which is understanding FL Studio's circular panning law. So I'll get on with it, make it a quick one because it's a quick tip. If you look in your options and uh, project general settings, you'll see you have a panning law and there's two options, circular and triangular and it defaults to circular now uh in old fl studio you just had circular or off um that off is the same as triangular because triangular i'll explain now what the panning law is about is how when you pan an audio source to the far right or to the far left you're only hearing it in one speaker when you pan it to the middle, you're hearing it in both speakers. So naturally, it sounds louder when you're hearing it from both speakers than just one or the other. If you have a circular panning law, it tries to compensate for that by lowering the volume as your audio panning position gets closer to the center. So you literally uh, have a more level sounding volume as your audio moves from left to right and through the middle. Uh, if you have no circular panning law or triangular, there is no curve affecting the volume and it will sound louder pan dead center than to the left or the right. So in theory, uh, the circular panning law is really good if you're going to automate uh, the sound going from left to right, uh, because then you can expect a steady volume as it moves. Uh, in reality, neither one is necessarily better than the other, especially if you're not automating and moving things around because you will be mixing by ear, you'll position something and you'll do the levels and that you'll put it where it sounds good. Um, what you will find though is if you made a whole mix with the circular panning law on and then flicked it to triangular, it's going to mess with your levels. So things panning and volume is going to move around and change levels. Uh, it it might sound louder, which you might think is better, but actually it's just different. And if you put time into positioning and uh, leveling everything properly, then you don't want to flip a button, which just randomly changes that. So the important thing about panning law is stick to one. Don't change it in the middle of a project. I would say stick to circular because that's the default. So there's another factor if you're going to send someone an FLP to work on and you've changed it to triangular and they're in circular, their balance and their mix is going to be all over the place compared to yours. Um, and that's really the uh, the fundamentals of the circular panning law. If you want to stick around for a little bit longer, I'll show you in action the difference. So we're on circular at the moment. I've set up a uh, pattern which is just playing a repeated tone. And I've got Edison set up to record that track. And it's in the, sort of the, the stereo, uh, where is it, display settings. So it's in multi-channel, which means it shows the left and the right uh, waveforms adds uh, slightly different colors. So you'll be able to see what happens when I pan the tone from left to right. So let's do that very quickly. Okay, so you can see what's happened there. As I pan to the left, into the red, and then past the center, and then into the right where it's blue, the actual volume increases to compensate for the fact that you're only hearing that audio in one speaker or earphone. So it would normally sound quieter, and this is compensating by turning it up. Let's see what happens when we use the triangular.
and there you have it. Absolutely no conversation at all. So the volume, the actual volume level of that sound is unchanged. And there you have it. Use that information as you will. Uh, my suggestion is to keep the circular panning law, if you, especially if you're automating panning. And like I say, in case you're sharing your uh, FLPs with anyone else and they've probably got circular on. Uh, but if you want to use triangular, why not? Just know why you're doing it and make sure uh, you tell people about it if they need to know. And uh, finally, neither one is really better than the other if you're mixing. Just uh, use your ears. Okay, so whoa, just over five minutes. That was Quick Tip, FL Studio Quick Tip number two from DIYmusic.co.uk. I've been Stu, signing out. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>